Sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to get that grind going and get shit back together, okay? She put, first of look all, look at all of these boxes they seen in this it. house. They already seen it. She had one chance to put one box together. One box. Are you trying to tell on me? Get our kids! Hey y'all, so we made it to the new house. I sacrificed, you know what I'm saying? To be in a comfortable environment for my kids to go to good school. Anxiety on a thousand. I couldn't even really talk to y'all because I was just so stressed up. Like I thought we was gonna be homeless. So this is my first time like taking it back. And that was a smooth process. This is the damage. taking this back for a return from Amazon and then this is all the cat and jack clothes yeah it's so sunny we're about to go yes mommy hold on we're about to go to Target girl like no makeup honey it's just been hot hot okay today we are running errands I need some lip gloss though for sure Sure, I need some lip gloss. What is London doing? Why is it taking y'all so long? They're trying to get water. They're, cold. They're cold. I just put them in the refrigerator. So we got $110. Some stuff was like older than a year, so they weren't able to take it back. And some stuff, I don't think I had my receipt. I thought I, re I, thought I scanned my um, Target thing because I don't keep my receipts for Cat and Jack. This is my first time taking it back. But. Whoa. And they're not going to say nothing. Anyways, so this is my first time like taking it back and that was a smooth process. Literally, I just had to scan my app and then they went through the clothes and then they, like I said, they gave me back what wasn't on my app, um, the, the stuff that I forgot to scan my app for, which is my fault and I'm annoyed because it was a lot of clothes. We probably would have been like 300 in, but it's okay. $100, I'll take $100. So now we're looking at different Cat and Jack stuff. This is stuff from like Cat and Jack. Like they got literally everything. So if you're a mom, oh shit, if you're a, a parent at all, okay, this is a good deal. Look. What? I'm not Karina, but Girl, wrong. Mimi gonna say, I said, get some clothes on. She's talking about, what am I going to wear? You took all the cat and jack. They got all children's place right now. What? You want a sweater, Mimi? Come on, London. Pick some clothes out for school. 
We can come back and exchange whatever we get today for sweaters when it's sweater time. Get down. Come on, London. Find you some clothes. See? $5 sale. Yeah, $100. Yeah. So we can get your butt back in there. And the crazy thing is, when they exchange it and they give it back to you, you get it back for the price that the clothes usually are. But I don't know what I'm supposed to match that with. You match it with some leggings or some stuff. Yeah, Dad! Huh? You want to look at the leggings first? Yeah, London, get over here. You're at, looking at hats. Like, why are you looking at hats when we're supposed to be school shopping looking for clothes? No. No. Come over here and find some. Okay, I'll pick yours. Don't worry about it. She doing a macarena. I ain't got time. This is the damage. Let's see. This is the damage. The damage we did. This is a. Because they decided they wanted to get what'd you get? Show them what you got. She got the Target dog. Wait, I can't see because one I'm on. Hold on, I still can't see. Turn it to me. There you go. Wait, if you split that, then we're not gonna be able to get the cream. This you are. Part. I'm gonna split it. No, no, no. Go touch. Thank you. Um, no, Sony. I got a matcha. This is my first time getting it. it. I had a vanilla, I had a vanilla for sweetening, but I've never tried it before, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, come on. See, when you start going to Starbucks, you get a little smart when you got kids who like Starbucks, okay? I got a, I think it was a Venti, and it was $6, I believe. And I was gonna get two of these small ones, and they were $5. Look at that. Like, literally. And there's more. It's extra. Look at that. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm trying this matcha for the first time. All the girlies love it. I did vanilla. You're not gonna like it. Okay, thirsty duckling. You like it? It tastes greeny. Tastes a little like tea though to me. It's like you can taste the green. Why y'all all gotta take more sips? You wanna taste it? Yeah, I'm a tea. I taste it. Okay, I knew somebody was gonna give it what I thought. Because it's green flavoring. Yes, I'm a tea. I like tea. I think next time. I put a little vanilla in it because he was like basically it wouldn't be sweet if I just got a matcha. I think next time I'm gonna do brown sugar because that was like a vanilla y taste. I, like I think next time I'm gonna do brown sugar. I should have got a small. I don't know why I got a big one. But anywho, we did good. We literally got the right 
amount of money like for everything that we got and I literally got them like I think it was like six shirts six shorts um, each and then we'll come back once we know like what school they're gonna go to because they could end up somewhere where there's uniform call that duty and then they won't even need any more but we did get new shoes yesterday come on guys we need to get some more new shoes and a few more clothes, like another week's worth probably. We we'll do like at least two to three weeks worth of clothes, like new clothes for school. So we'll see how that goes. But we out here, y'all. No, it's already down. Cause she's sucking it up. It's good for you though. Don't take it from her. I don't need her screaming into my drink. Give her some. How are you drinking yours and mine at the same time? You look at your tongue right there. You see your tongue? You see it? It's green. It's green, she said. It's green. You're so funny. But anyway. It's not because she went drinking a lot. Hold on to that tight. All right. We did good time. It's 6.30. About to head home, need to figure out what they're gonna eat. And then, that's what I said, it's like a green taste, but then the vanilla makes it sweet. Have we ate grass? Maybe like salad? I literally lived on this earth for 20 You think I have never ate grass? Ew, why didn't you dripping on stuff? They're gross. You ate grass? Lord, listen. All right. Grass. Is it good? Look at her face. Is it yummy? Is it? Okay, can you hold on to my drink? Get my drink. Get my drink. You got it dripping down your face too. Y'all are disgusting. Come on. You hold it. Ew, look at your face. Ew. <laughs> Yeah. We're home now. Uriah's uh, painting and patching up places that needed to be patched up. Y'all know there was the dogs didn't. I don't even know what they was eating it or something for a minute there until I yelled at them and then they stopped. But they didn't already made like this weird mark that I told y'all about. But he's spot painting. Paint it all over there. You need to keep that paint. I got a package. I don't know what it is. Right. I have no idea what this is. But it's in this big box. This is this is a sponsorship. They sent me a booklet. It was like a um, I don't even know, like newspaper, but like a magazine-like newspaper of their line. It was very high and very luxury. And this is what it looks like. Once I figure out what these really do for real, because let me see. Look at it, like, it's so cute. It's like a cream. It's skincare, I know that. But I don't know all the details. But I'll put it in this video so y'all can see too because it's like a serum. Ooh, magnetize. Okay. I love the way it came. Everything looks so pretty. This is a serum. That's a cream. This is a serum. So I'm gonna use the electron milk. What it gives. 
Y'all see, I'm real bare faced today. A little oily. But, honey, it was 115 degrees. At least that's what the car said. It was so hot. And then we about to get into packing today. Really gonna be a chill day, honestly. Like, that's really all I had to do. Oh, I couldn't take back the, um, the tree because UPS closed early today. Today's Saturday? What's today? Saturday? Yeah, UPS closed early today. I didn't even know it was Saturday. But, <clears throat> I'll take that back another day because I have until the 22nd. But, yeah. I had to do that Cat and Jack stuff so then I can pack. And I won't feel like I'm packing up that stuff that I could take over there and change real quick. And then I got clothes off my mind for right now. And then we can focus on packing at least the downstairs. You'll never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone. Cause when you're gone, I miss your face. Late o'clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. This shit that I gotta deal with. He got a random stray cat. But at least it's not black. It's not black. It's what? fine. It's not black. No, it's not fine. He just brought a random stray cat now. Yeah, Been feeding him for days. You're right, this is not our cat. It doesn't want to see people looking we at We don't it. know yet. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? We got new more puppies and all types of things. And he's gonna stay lost. What do you mean it's been long? We don't need a cat. Mm, yeah, somebody want to adopt a cat. He didn't put the dog up. Yeah, yeah. What's that? What's that called? Kitten distribution center. Did you ever look that up? Or kitten distribution. Program where they people say that they just drop cats off because all of a sudden the cat just wants to live with you, and then that's how they end up getting a cat. Like their story of how they got their cat, it just ended up on their front porch. That's basically what he did, right? And he lo and they love him, like the cat actually is like loves or is liking the person and everything. He didn't jump in the car with him and stuff, like he's been seeing him for three days, y'all. This that same cat that was in the front uh front porch crying. He keeps coming back. He goes he he wants you to adopt. He, him. No, he wants he, he, he wants just food. Of, he just wants food. Mimi, Mimi. Mimi. He's there Mimi. under the wood. To the cat. He hates water, so nothing you say makes it better.
showing up for dinner. Like he pay bills here, like he live here for real. I don't know why, and I don't know why she chooses to do this on the steps. But she just randomly started dancing. Out of the blue, just dancing on the, on the step. What happened to the noise? No! There you go. Don't turn it! Oh. oh, my bad. It's okay, dance, go ahead. It's about to start, it's about to start. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Girl, that wasn't even it. You were dancing. Not that. Not that. This girl been talking a whole bunch lately. But as y'all can see, I did do her hair. It's not. It's messed up right now. Let me fix it. Hold on. So this is her little. Her little, little bun. <laughs> I braided her oh hair God. up, but I plan on, you know, putting a little bow or whatever, or something cute Stop on the top. But, homegirl, listen, I had to do this in her sleep. I know it's a little. I don't braid perfect. I'm just a mother, okay? I'll be trying or whatever. Stop. But yeah, she just decided she wanted to be on the steps, like, because we don't have much seating over there. <laughs> Up. Yeah, yeah. Oh my Girl! Please. So we're using the stairs as a seat today. But yeah, I want to show you guys. Girl, don't come in. Girl! What nobody bothering you? <laughs> oh my god, y'all. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever. And honestly, it's probably been about some days. Okay. I have literally been on my wits end in order to make me. Y'all know I got a two year old. I don't know why I just like to pretend like y'all can't hear or understand. But some people, if they don't have little kids around, they might get like, girl, like, why are your kid yelling in the background? But the thing is, she's a toddler. And toddlers just be toddlering. Anyway, back to my dilemma. Okay, so there was. I mean, I guess it's a good thing to have a lot of options. We were really like in the thick of it. When I say crunch time, when I say like pulling all the stops, when I, when I say like we were stressed, anxiety on a thousand, I couldn't even really talk to y'all because I was just so stressed up. Like I thought we was going to be homeless. Now we might not have been all the way homeless because I do have family in, in all types of different places. Not in the city I live in, but within three, five, you know, hours or so. So we would never be homeless. But the thing is, we're in Houston. We don't have family here. We literally are just here. And we can't really, with the household of five of us and having children and then having to, you know, start school and get everything together, we don't have luxury of having any type of time. Like, we have no time, for real. Like, we have to get to the house, we have to get them in school, we have to get everything unpacked, we gotta get, like, it's like, and the anxiety is driving me wild, like, wild, like, y'all just don't understand, what? on Facebook was like, at least you're not pregnant, like, that would be the only way to make it worse, but then I got newborn puppies, I said, girl, like, I, I just, even when I, when I had the baby, that's when designer had her first litter, me and designer was pregnant at the same time, at the end. And then she had her babies, and I had my newborn, and I was doing it with newborn and newborn puppies, and it was like, you know what I'm saying? Just had a C-section, mind you. So, I feel like things just keep hitting me in, in doubles and triples. It's like, what is it, girl? And then all of that, yes, my child is too. That brings more stress and anxiety. Uh, this thing, Miss Flow Girl, she's supposed to come this week. I'm um, During the, I guess, physically during the move, hopefully. Why you I can not? stretch it out a little longer. Mama. I'm not doing nothing special, Mama. but I'm just saying, pray. Mama. Prayer will always get it done. Won't he do it? Now listen, y'all, I am now in a dilemma oh my God. where we have three houses. Oh my God. We have to choose from. Two are on either side of Houston. Like they're just nothing similar. They're just on. They're just on either or. Okay. One is in San Antonio. 
is 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 near my mother. So we don't know which one we're gonna pick. We tomorrow we are having a family meeting. We are you know what I'm saying going over things, pros and cons, you know, different things. But it's like to go from having zero prospects, like literally every time we would put in an application it would already be gone or it would already be appending something on it but they didn't update the system like it was always something going on um and then to now at the very cusp when i say like days we are days away from the first and to be at the very cusp and to have three options just thank God. I just honestly, I give it all to him because I was, I was ready to slide down the wall, slide down some steps. Honey, I was, I was out of there. I was really out of there. Like, I was so stressed out and I was scared because I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't, because the worst come to worst, we would have to drive to San Antonio, put all of our stuff in storage and wait till we find a house. Kind of like how we did when we moved from Ohio. Girl, Milana did a flip and knocked y'all over. But kind of like how when we moved from Ohio to Texas. Like, we stayed with my mom for a couple months until we found our house. But I was pregnant. And I was flipping out because I didn't want to have a baby in my mom's house. Like, that was really strange to me. I just didn't want to. I just wanted to leave. What did I I just didn't want to do I wanted my own space. I wanted a um, nursery. Like, you know. But I say all that to say that basically now... That would have been like a whole nother situation and then trying to put them into school and I didn't want to just move them around contrary to popular belief. I don't really want to juggle my kids around like that. Like I'd rather them have at least a year. Okay. It's structure. You know what I'm saying? Like at least a year, but really ideally like three, five years, if not longer. You know what I'm saying? Kids are only kids for a little bit. But um, when I was a child, I moved around a lot, so that's why I kind of like like it. Like I honestly really like it. I liked moving a lot. It didn't affect me. It didn't affect my grades. So got good grades, great social skills. I love people. Maybe they swear. Like, well, as an adult, I've kind of learned some things about people that I don't like. But that's neither here nor there. Like I said. We just don't know what we're doing, y'all. That's really all I can get camera to tell y'all that we are just still in the thick of it. But we at least have options. So now we're going to basically go and, you know what I'm saying? Put it all out there and figure out which one we're going to pick. It's just so no racket. Usually I have an address right now. Usually I'm packing up knowing where I'm going, knowing what everything is looking like, what schools they're going to. Like Usually by now, everything's already structured. And the fact that was just, it's like I feel blind right now and I don't like that. But um, like I said, it's the worst come to worst. We can actually stay here and prorate this rent, which is amazing. So once we found that out, we like, and kind of like, okay, and got everything to where it's at now. So luckily, I'm blessed, but I will let y'all know everything else. Probably, Can hopefully tomorrow. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, y'all have a good interview. Let me go, because this baby is doing a, doing a lot. She's doing a lot. She's doing a lot. And I spit it. Can't take it. Hey, y'all. Hey, Listen, today is basically moving day. Technically, but we're not moving, moving, getting the truck and everything packed and, and on the way until tomorrow. I am so excited. Today we get our keys. Get the keys, 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 keys. How does song go? Anyway, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. So, um, basically, right now we packed up the Maserati with things. We packed up our van with things, and we're driving. It's a little ways, y'all. We going out in the country, honey. But we're driving to the house. We're going to unpack our cars and leave the Maserati there because we still have other cars to get when we come back like we're gonna have to make a couple of trips which like I said it's a little ways it's about an hour from here so we're gonna have to be making some back and forth um, to transport cars because tomorrow we'll have the U-Haul and you I will have to drive the U-Haul so we won't be able to drive a car so yeah that's what's going on that's the plans for today is just to get some things set on the house and tomorrow is the real unpacking i can't believe it we are putting a house tour on fyi fam i will link it below y'all know this was this was this was a lot okay this was literally a lot like i had a whole breakdown because 
it was just crunch time like it the time kept passing and passing and passing and it became days before we had to move out of her our house and we just could not find anything and living in Houston it's like it's just so hard out here like I feel like there's a glare on my glasses it's like there's more people than there are houses and there's just so many apps on one house and it's just hard it's like really really competition to get nice houses out here so we're excited are y'all excited yeah. Y'all probably don't even remember which house it is, do you? It's that the one house that has the like the gray um tiles. Gray tiles. The the one that has the gray stuff. And then are you excited? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't look excited. I need to yeah. Milana, are you excited? Hey. So yeah, y'all, yeah, one thing about it, it doesn't have a microwave like over the stove. So we're going to have to invest in one. And Uriah said that he'll try to see how to get it installed or whatever. Um, it's basically, it's supposed to be quick. I don't know. Don't give me the line because I have nothing to do with that. I have no idea. But we're going to see. And I can't wait to decorate. Like, I am so excited. Oh. Fall's coming up. The girls are going back to school. It's just a lot going on, okay? So right after we get in the house, we're going to be unpacking while getting the girls going off to school and getting our life normal again. And it's right now, it's very chaotic. It's a lot of chaos going on. But it is what it is. So we'll see y'all at the house, y'all. Bye. Hey y'all. So we made it to the new house. As I told y'all, we did the house tour. Um, drop that on FYI. Family link is below. We're in the new house. We're bringing things in, getting things a little settled for tomorrow for the big move. Um, Uriah is bringing this stuff in right now, and I'm about to go help him. Y'all, the kids was kidding during the whole. Filling process, okay? Take it away, take it away, feeling so good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough wake up we gotta go get the truck um movers are coming um and then we just move in house we gotta move uh we left the dogs and the puppies obviously because they have to be where we're sleeping and we're sleeping at the the old house tonight so tomorrow yes old house because it's not our house no more this is our house so tomorrow we'll bring the dogs here um, and then go from there. Um, I gotta uh, get them in their school. I was trying to figure out which school I wanted to go to, but I think I figured it out. So I wanna go to school. Um, yeah, I want you to go to school, girl. So after we get Milan, can you get that? After we get everything in the house, start unpacking. The next step is school. We gotta do school shopping. It's a lot. What? 
What? I want to go to school. I what? Want to go to school. What did Milan say? You're right. Oh, how's this? Mama. He pulled the other seat Mama. out, so they're all going away. Mama. What? 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 Stay. Yes, baby. What? I'm gonna go to school. What? So, Mimi picked the room. Her room has a sink, like, right there in her room, and then it goes into, like, the bathroom and, like, all that. So cute. Then London is over on the side by my office makeup area um, room, and then she has her own bathroom, and then... Milan's gonna be in there hopefully with her. We're gonna transition her up out of our bed. Your eyes over it. He's been saying she needs to go. She, she needs to get out. So she's gonna be actually probably our earliest like one that goes into their own bed. Well, I feel like oh, is it the glare? I feel like my lips are blue. Am I tripping? So, anyways, moving in the heat like we need to start moving in the winter time our next step though after we leave here or at least very 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 soon probably within the next two years two to three years is to buy a house so that's the next one that's where our next goal is after we get settled but yeah y'all we're about to figure out what we're gonna eat and then i'll put the camera and talk to y'all told y'all we was in a country look at these cows Hey y'all, so we're home. Ignore the noise. The kids are getting their last little glimpse of internet, okay, for the next few days until we get our internet connected. Because we're moving on a weekend, so we probably won't get internet connected till Monday. It is Friday, and you probably hear the washer and dryer going because we're doing one last load before we go. Even though we're going to just take it to the new house and hook it up. We're just washing everything, make sure everything's clean, um, so I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, y'all, like it's crunch time. It's the end. It's the end of the end. The last of the last. Like everything is packed up, literally. Um, I did want to tell y'all though before I show y'all what we got going on. I made a Facebook group, okay? And I made this Facebook group because I wanted to basically connect with my bell bays. Like, I feel like we chat a little bit in the comments, but like, y'all watch me, but I really don't get to learn who you guys are. Like, I want a deeper connection with y'all, and I feel like this would definitely do that. And then I can also post things in there in real time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk to y'all about anything, like, all the time, whatever, like, comes to mind. But sometimes throughout the day, I might need a suggestion for something or I have a question and y'all can give me advice for whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want a place where we can chat outside of the public eye. Because I feel like I post a lot of stuff on Instagram when I need, like, something in the now. Like, if I'm like, ooh, I like this dress. Like, what do y'all think? Like, I post a lot of that on Instagram, right? But I feel like there's also eyes on there you know what I'm saying like people who really don't have your best interests at heart people that really want to see you fail like be watching it lurking people don't even be subscribed to you or following you but they be watching your story you feel what I'm saying y'all know what I'm talking about them haters okay I be always wearing my hater rays my hater blockers but sometimes they slip it through yes baby you want some more okay I'll get you some more juice in a minute um so I made this group so that it's like a private place for us to chat and I can like get things off my chest without it being too public. You know what I'm saying? Just the like the 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 top of the line bell bays. Like I need I need all my original like even my new ones but the loyals like I need y'all, okay? So I'll put the link below in the description box and also put it in the comment section so please check it out click it join it's free obviously it's just a Facebook group but I want y'all to join over there so we can connect and chat now like I said oh my goodness okay girl she be feeling like I need to do it now like just cause she asked me for some juice that she just drank a whole cup of I need to get up and get it right now girl <laughs> being a mom is so ghetto like, I swear, I got three bosses, three little bosses, okay, that tell me what to do. <laughs> and I'm self-made. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to go get that juice, though.
So y'all, this is the situation at hand, okay? We got everything packed. We actually dropped off our Bells Plus 3 that was right here in our glass table today. Kids are super duper loud. The puppies are over there. We just got piled up to the top. Like, it goes way, 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 way back, okay? Everything. Like, when I say their cabinets, I feel like Miss Cupboard. Oh, Miss Cupboard Hubbard. You know what I'm talking about? Where she has bare cupboard. Anyway, if y'all know what I'm talking about, the nursery rhymes, let me know. But this is our bare cupboard. Okay, this is the pantry. It's bare. There's nothing in here. It's a little echo. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just a lot of space. A lot of nothing. Like, everything is packed. Everything is ready to go. We have to pack up this refrigerator. It doesn't have a refrigerator. This place didn't have a refrigerator either. We had to buy this one. So, and the crazy thing is, we had just sold our refrigerator when we were in San Antonio when we came down to Houston. We sold it. Um, but we got, we had a black one. So, we got a stainless steel. I say chrome, you're right? Like, stainless steel. I don't like to be like everybody. I don't care what it's supposed to be called. I said crunk, and that's what I meant. Everything is packed. Literally everything is packed up. Like, this is my um, vanity pieces. We took all the miscellaneous things to the house today. We got some shoes. Like, literally nothing in here. This was our guest bathroom. Y'all, when I show you the garage honey don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it okay we gotta get this um freezer out our extra freezer like we have so much so much stuff yes and that's just downstairs upstairs is literally bare i will show y'all oh look this cabinet a cabinet girl what what am i talking about this closet was so deep like extremely deep. This is where the mice were. That's like where I was like, um, like it was so deep and it had was packed to the ceiling. Okay, things were packed. So everything's out of there. This is the under the stairs situation. Literally everything. Hold on. I know, baby. Hold on. Don't touch that. Don't touch that cup. We got the girls dresser right here. Um, we still obviously when the movers come they will disconnect that. This closet, super duper deep also. We had that piled high to the top, honey. And here is our room. We got our safe. Obviously have to get our mattress off the floor. Girl, why it bring me back like to the ghetto days? I'm like, oh my god, my mattress is on the floor. <laughs> I was like, we were like this for a week, literally, because you're right, packed the whole house in like a week, and that was like two weeks ago. So we've been packed up and ready to go about two weeks ago. Okay, the kitchen was the last thing to get packed, so we just have stuff that we're using, like we pack bags. And all we have to do is just throw that stuff in the car, and then they're going to take our bed pieces. We have our dresser, all that stuff over there. I don't know why they're very naked. Girl, she took her shirt off, came home, and relax, relax. This was our bathroom, and we had two little sinks. Ignore the mess, like I said. We just got to grab stuff up, zip it up, and get going, and then clean up, and we'll be done. This is our tub right here. We also need to take our curtains. This was our bathroom. Our closet was a little deep. Our new closet is bigger, honey. Bigger and better. So, someone in the last video that I posted today asked, like, what's wrong with this house? Why are we leaving? Nothing's wrong with this house. We just kind of, like, found this house last minute. Kind of like, I mean, not honestly, we found this house quicker than we found our house that we're moving to but we're happy with the house that we're moving to we weren't technically happy with this house this was a brand new build it's beautiful as you guys can see i love the granite the countertops 
everything like that. But the thing was, it was extremely small. Now, we could live in this house because there are five of us, but the baby sleeps in our bed. As you can see, we have a king bed, huge bed. She sleeps in our bed. She's never like, she's not going to stay in a room by herself because she's just not. And I've always done the, um, you know, the nursery. Y'all seen, y'all seen we've always done big ass rooms that babies don't sleep in. They have their own rooms, get dust on them. I just have furniture in there for no reason. Nobody uses it. Like literally, I have sheets that I bought from Target <laughs> for London that were never used for the crib. So with this one, we decided to do things differently. She didn't really have like a nursery. She had a room of her own at the old house, but she didn't have like a nursery nursery. So here we were like, you know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this house and we're gonna stay in it for a year and then we're gonna try to actually not even a year we stayed here for 15 14 months and then we're gonna try to find something that's bigger you know what i'm saying because this was not big at all it's not big at yeah. all okay and so our room was actually pretty big i like that but i didn't have like my own personal makeup area i'm gonna show you guys <clears throat> So, if you come down here, this is where I had my makeup stuff. Like, and that's why I called it my makeup area instead of technically a makeup room because it wasn't really a room. I sacrificed, you know what I'm saying, to be in a comfortable environment for my kids to go to good schools and things like that because we could not find anything. Like, it was just, it's so competitive here in Houston, it's crazy. But anyway, so my vanity was right here. Um, you know, I had all of my, um, my bookcases and stuff lined up here and I made it do what it do. I had a carpet, I had everything right here. It was really cute. And I didn't think it was too bad of a thing because I have all girls. I have three girls. So it was going into the girls room. They just had to walk through my makeup area. And because we're all girls, it worked itself out. Like if I had boys, I feel like it would be awkward because it was this pink and you know what I'm saying, cute and luxury and aesthetic over here. But this was like the girl corner, okay? So, that's what it was giving, and I needed my space. I didn't even have an office space. I think my desk that I had at the old house, we put underneath, um, we used it as like a entertainment system. Like we had the TV on it downstairs. So, my, I just didn't have room for me and my things and what I'm used to. And in every single house that we've ever lived in, even when you're, I was in the military, I always had my own room where I had my makeup stuff and things like that. And then when I started doing YouTube, it was like my content room. So because I didn't have that, I was very uncomfortable, but I knew it was for a season and it was for what we planned on doing and how we planned on doing things. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to get that grind going and get shit back together okay so this was the situation um and so the reason that we're moving is because this house is extremely too small so this is the girls room right and y'all remember we had bunk beds here these are their beds right now um obviously all the beds on the floor <laughs> but we had bunk beds right here they had the dressers the tv you know that was their closet or whatever i wish show y'all their closet but let me see if i can get it open it over me this is their closet it was pretty big Ugh. where's the light Ugh. their closet was pretty big oh i gotta get see mimi's trying to hide shit she's trying to hide shit from the baby talking about she was in my things and she put it all the way i don't even know how the hell she got up there lord she gonna end up losing it and leaving it she lucky i opened this i'm sure she remembered but still like girl doing too much anyway this was their closet and then all the rooms, one thing I loved about this place was all the rooms had their own bathrooms. So we did have three bathrooms in this house. I guess it, it was like 2,000 square feet. Um, the house we're going to now, we're moving to is big and that's how we like it. I was moved from and here was big and that's how we like it. So we're going back to, you know, square one, okay? How things should be, but we just were, we ran out of luck. And when you're renting, you really, beggars can't be choosers. You really just get what you get. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you want 
something, but you can't really, you don't have time to hold out. And that's how we always get stuck with stuff. Like, or find a blessing. Like, we did our last house, and then this house we're going to. Like, we were blessed, in a sense, because... We could honestly had stayed at the other house because we the last house that we were at, our old house, we were there for three years. But they were talking about like selling the house and then they were going up in rent. And that's the reason why we moved out of that house. This house, again, we could stay here, but as you guys see, like I said, just too small. Like for our growing family, honey, this was just not it. It was good for the moment. It did what it needed to do. It was cute, you know what I'm saying? But it's time to go and I know y'all feel me on that okay but yeah this was the kids room um the kids bathroom they had like a little steamer it's pretty big like it's real spacious honestly um and then this is their shower and like I said this house was never lived in we were the first ones to live in this house new build new construction brand new everything the new house um, it's not brand new like who have lived in it, but that's fine with us But yeah, y'all this is I mean, I guess I didn't even do a tour honey of this house when we moved into it It was just too much going on. I was so stressed out like It was a lot going on when we moved to this house and I wasn't in a good space and all of that, but now I'm really excited for the new chapter I'm so humbled and I cannot wait to see what memories and what things we get into at the new house like like i said i can't wait to decorate like i have so many big plans big ideas for that house i cannot wait like i'm so excited one thing though i do hate is that i can never get a kitchen that i love like this kitchen y'all seen the kitchen downstairs i like it but there's things that i would switch around and I would also make the kitchen bigger and more open like it would just have more space the island would be longer bigger you know what I'm saying ideally then the last house our old house if you guys remember it was kind of like the new house we're going to where it had that um the island wasn't technically an island because it was like a higher up island if that makes sense like a sh I call it a shelf island because it's like it's an island and then it has like this piece on the island that makes it taller I don't know. There might be a word for it, but I don't know. So, I hate those, but I did what I had to do at the other house and sucked it up for the other features that I loved. So, for this house, it was the same thing, like this new house. There was things I did not like, but I compromised. You know what I'm saying? And, like, we don't have a microwave, but your eyes like, we're going to go buy a microwave and he's going to fix it and put it up or whatever over the... Um, over the stove or we might not we might just put it you know on the counter so the kids can reach it either way it is what it is it's not our house not our forever home we do plan on buying in like a year or two so i'm not pressed you know what i'm saying i'm just excited to have the space that we needed all the girls have their own rooms you know what i'm saying and i just feel like we have a lot of room and space for growth you feel what i'm saying like Y'all just don't even understand, like, the hell we've been through with certain things. Like, last year was a very stressful year. This year, I think 33, they say that 33, year 33, is the year of sacrifice. And I really feel it. Like, I really feel it because I definitely sacrificed a lot this year. Um, but when you sacrifice, God rewards you and then you move forward into you know what I'm saying your new chapter in life listen I'm I'm blessed at the end of the day blessed to have this house I'm blessed to have healthy children I'm blessed to be healthy myself I'm blessed to have an amazing spouse and partner to go through life with who also is very healthy himself okay he might act a little crazy he may act a little out of, out of, out of it sometimes but overall I have a beautiful family I cherish them and you know what I'm saying I do anything for mine like I lay down for mine I change huh. I, I stir up the world for mine you put all saying mamas you know y'all know how it is so yeah with that being said honey tomorrow is the big day everything gotta go okay everything gotta get the, out of here 
And yeah, y'all, well, I see y'all in the morning. I'm probably about to just watch some YouTube videos and I'm probably also gonna comment back to a lot of people on the video I posted today. I finally posted the moving vlog. So excited. I couldn't post it until, basically until we signed the lease, like, and, and it was official and we were moving and like all that, okay? Because things got pushed back. As y'all seen, I think in the last um, video of me like talking to y'all, I was a mess. I was stressed out. My anxiety was on 10. I was just all over the place, okay? Like, it was it was a lot going on. It was so many different, like, houses reaching out. And what was crazy was we went from having no prospects, and that was, like, shaking me to my core because that reminded me I had PTSD traumatic from last year in this debacle right here and I did not want to do that all over again like I did not want to either stay in this house for another year or have to go somewhere else that I did not like and did not fit you know what I'm saying so I was so 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 stressed out about that and then it went from that because I prayed 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 I just let God have it and I'm like you know what what will be ours will be ours and after that prayer y'all literally it was like five different houses contacted us we was getting approvals back to back to back I'm like what the like we almost went to San Antonio it was just so much going on and I also saw somebody say like oh I thought that you guys were gonna move to San Antonio you know this time or whatever be closer to your mom but honestly y'all one thing about it I lived in San Antonio for two and a half years I love my parents I love my family but I like my space like when it comes to my parents <laughs> my sisters like if they lived in Houston I would love it like we would do whatever together like I love it but when it comes to my parents honey like not even my, my parents my mother okay y'all know mom listen listen I, I feel like y'all know y'all know and if y'all been watching for a long time y'all already know like y'all know how my mom is y'all know how I am and we just always like we we good with a little distance, okay? Like we just go to we just have very strong personalities, and like it, we just can't be in each other's space for too long. Like it can't it can't be it it can't be a whole I can pop up at your house whenever we will, we will definitely get on each other's nerves consistently. And when I lived in San Antonio, I didn't really like San Antonio a lot because it just wasn't my vibe. Like. My people ain't out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never met people. I mean, I met people that I liked. Obviously, y'all seen I had a whole bunch of friends out there. But I had to search for them. I had to literally make a Facebook group and find my, my tribe. You know what I'm saying? And I still love them to death. We still hang out, you know, whenever. I, I go back and forth to San Antonio all the time. Y'all see? So, we hang out. You know, I chill with them. They come into town. They let me know. But... When it comes to living there, I don't know. We may, when we start looking to buy, we may buy out there, but we also may buy in Dallas. We've been talking about Dallas um, because that's also another big city versus like San Antonio is a little smaller than Houston or Dallas. And I think Houston, I don't see us buying a house here. It's cool living here. Like the vibe's cool. I love the people here. It's really, it's always something to do. Like I really like it. The only reason we was leaning towards San Antonio is because we knew <clears throat> we knew that we'd be able to, you know, do more date nights and things like that. I did have a nanny, but she ended up, and this was when we were at the old house. She ended up having to go back home from, you know, where she where she originally was from because her grandmother got sick. She wasn't able to obviously stay here any longer, and so I lost her and the one thing about her was I literally I found her on care.com I vetted her out background checks all the things right and I talked to her for a year when I say I talked to her for a year I'm so serious we built a relationship for a year before I let her watch my kids so I did all the background checks did all the things was watching her socials I'm crazy y'all about my children I ain't want to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So I, I vetted her out. It was cool with her. I, a year went by. I was like, okay, cool. Let's try this out. Okay? And she was amazing. They loved her. Like, it was it was a great fit. And I was so sad when she left. I should text her to see. Because it's been about a couple years now. She left when I at, right after I had the baby. I might text her to see if she ended up ever coming back. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've been thinking of getting a new one, finding a new one, and seeing 
how that goes. But I just, I'd be like, I don't have time to vet another person out for a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a long time. Like, I didn't want to be outside, okay? So, that was one reason why we were, like, leaning towards being closer to family. But, you know what? At the end of the day, like I said, I really enjoy the vibes out here in Houston. So, I think we're staying here for another couple of years. But when Mimi, Mimi's going into middle school next year. She's going into uh, the fifth grade this year. But the fifth grade, I was looking, searching high and low. Because I did not want her to go to middle school this year. I didn't. I asked her if she was ready. Me and her was on the same page. We just didn't feel like middle school was it right now. So, and I'm glad she was like, mm-hmm, yeah, I want to stay with London for another year. I'm glad she did because, baby, I want you to stay in elementary school as long as I can have you in elementary school. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? So, next year, the school that we found next to our house, and that was another thing. That's, that's really why... It's hard for me to find houses because I'm very, very particular about certain things. And I will not compromise certain things. I'll compromise things about myself. Moms know. We'll look bummy. We won't go get you know, our nails done, our hair done. You know, none of that for when it comes to our kids. Like, we will literally look a mess just for them to... We, we will crawl just for them to walk. You know what I'm saying? So, it was one of them. Okay? And luckily, I found... Everything I wanted in the school by the house we were going to go move to. Um, and so the fifth grade is the last grade in this elementary school. And so they're going to school for one more year together, which I'm so excited about. I think this is really, honestly, if you think about it, middle school is so short. It's like a couple of years, I think. Three, two, two to three years. And they're four years apart. So this will probably be the last time they'll ever be in school together. So, you know, I wanted to make that mean something. And, you know, like... I really, I really, like, cherish that. Like, I love that, that type. I love that they have that type of bond where they are able to go to school together. I never got to go to school with my siblings, so I think that's super cute and cool. And then next up, Milan and London will be in the same boat because they're four years apart, and they'll be going to school together for a couple of years. But anyway, um, yeah, so next year she'll be going to middle school. So we're just looking to find something stable, which is why we're thinking, well, we're not even thinking we're going to buy because we want, you know, to stay in one spot for her to go to, like, middle school and uh, high school in the same area and the same school and everything like that. And have, you know, friends, longtime friends and things that she grew up with and stuff like that. I technically, I'm a military brat, basically, because my mom married my stepdad when I was, like, no, she met him when I was three. They married when I was like six or seven and had my little sister. And ever since then, probably about around when I was 10, we started moving around a lot. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm used to moving around a lot and it doesn't really phase me. And even when I was a kid, I loved it. I was ready to go to the next spot. Like, I'm like, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Like, I love going city to city, school to school. And I'm very social behind that. And I feel like that really molded me into the adult that I am. It really helped me, you know, flourish in life, like, with my personality and things like that. Like, I talk to myself, honey. Y'all know. Y'all know me a little, me a little crazy. It screws a little, a little loose sometimes. But nonetheless, you know, I want my kids not to be as crazy as me and maybe be a little, little normal. So we're going to look for some normalcy coming very soon. But yeah, y'all, I will talk to y'all later. I don't know if this is the end of the vlog or what, but if it is, I love y'all so much. Don't let banisters run through your forest at night because it's always a yeti lurking closely, okay? Sometimes cats don't have spots, and if they don't, they're donkeys. Look out. Don't feed them grass or nothing like that because cows moo and the moon turns left and right. And blue is yellow. <laughs> Sometimes in the river and in the Nile, I don't know that much about clouds. But listen, I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later. I guess that tomorrow's a big day. So let's get into this moving, honey. It's moving time, baby. Finally. Oh my gosh. Finally, it is moving time. What times was this? <laughs> no, I don't remember this. What? Yeah. This was when we were in it. What the hell? No. No. Putting back the original faucet. You're right, it's underneath the sink. Let's see what daddy's doing. Daddy will. Um, 
Bouncy. Yeah, you see? Oh, Daddy make it. Yeah. Mama, Daddy make it. He's, yeah, he's putting the faucet back on. Yes. So that one over there was ours, and that we're taking it to the new here. house. Come here. Daddy's, uh, uh, what's it called? A plumber. Is that who fixes the, <laughs> the seats? Daddy's a mechanic. <laughs> you get no. what? Lobster hat. I can't. My hair looks crazy. I know it. Looking at, nobody looking at your hair. Mm. Nobody looking at your hair, I'm Otis. And didn't you say that we was going to film content without, remember? No, this is different. No, this is everyday content that I film on my channel. Anyways, so you're saying that this can go on that other sink. Huh? Mimi, when we moved, uh, when she was like, was she two? She was like, oh, we're moving. Oh, my room's gone. <laughs> Mama opened the pantry and said her food's missing. She said, where's my food? My food's gone. She opened the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The drawer. She's talking about nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, Milan. We established it's gone. It's all gone. We're, Why is that? Said, we're, we're moving. She said nothing. Is that what she? Is, is that what she gave me of a basket? <laughs> Milan. Okay, baby. We're moving, honey. Your, the food is gone. We're moving, baby. She said. She over the thing and said, gotcha. Like it was going to appear in there. You're crazy. Yeah, you oh, I'm we, and that's it. That was like the final thing really was that we already took, um, we had changed out the shower head. She took that. There's food in there, dude. Yo, Bestie, she don't she don't know how to pack nothing, so I gotta Whatever. pack the house and then move the house. She she put first of look all, look at all of these boxes in this it. house. They already seen it. She had one chance to put one box together. One box. Are you trying to tell on me? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and the box that's in this house that she put together is the one that's upside down. It was an accident. I clearly was. I was just thinking of. That? You don't have to show. You we we get it. We don't need to see it. You the ain't gotta show me. Upside down box in the entire house. And then he said I over stuff the boxes. A box that you touch and put together. Anyways, he said I over stuff the boxes. Because I don't feel like we should have to buy a whole bunch of boxes. Like, what do you need to make but he's like, you're not the one picking it up. It's gonna be so heavy. Da, 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 da. So I let him pack it. He thinks he know everything. He can pack and and put, assemble boxes. So I'll just unpack when we get when we get to the new house. Um, they already did like a cleaning team, but I'm gonna gonna go over the like the kitchen and the um the bathrooms and stuff a little bit when we get Is there. there. Else upstairs? I guess these dishes I can use the clothes that we've been using to live. These with. we can let me just put them in the van. I don't have nothing to put it in. You I need to get this off the counter now. We don't have like a box or nothing. So then we gotta get the puppies packed up. Um, yeah, everything's everything. We gotta clean out the fridge. We're gonna put the stuff that's in the fridge right now. We don't have a lot. Like we didn't. We literally because of the storm and like um, electric going off and all of our food in the freezer going to bad and everything like that. We never like re upped and everything like on the groceries. So everything's kind of bare anyways. Did. So, we're going to just take out the little stuff that so we do broken. have, and we're going to um, put it in our little mini fridge when we get to the new house, and then the movers are going to move this fridge, and then we're going to hook it all up when we get to the new house. So, that's the plan. The food is gone, Dodie. She's still looking for the food in the pantry. She's trying to figure out where her snack's at, because this girl snack all day. We just had grapes, baby. I know you're not hungry. 
we ate it all. Grapes is gone. Oh, you didn't leave one for me. No, I didn't because we gotta eat I the food. Anyway, y'all. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the dilemma going on up in each. how they did this but yeah and this is our whole house plus what i showed y'all in the garage and we're gonna uh, figure out how to get everything on one truck so we don't have to make two trips and then no streaming so this should be interesting what daddy made you my bubble is he oh you said thank you daddy <laughs> Look at that. Bubbles. She got some bubbles. Wow. Daddy's making me bubbles. <laughs> Why would you tell them that? Why are you so She's telling them people that they butt stink. Why are you smelling their butt? What? Through the camera? That's what? nasty, London. <laughs> what? You looking for the bubbles? Daddy making me bubbles. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's making me bubbles. Daddy's making me bubbles. <laughs> 